Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we're doing a review video, finally, a review video on the new Avon with the Face Shop collaboration, the Ink Lasting Cushion Foundation Slim Fit Edition. Actually, I don't really know if it's an edition or not, but I'm going with it. All right, so this one here, it is the in the shade of C. 20 which is neutral medium i'm not exactly sure whether or not this is the right shade for me but we're going to give it a try and give it a go recently i have tried out the new moisture cushion blush for an event that i went to and i fell in love i've pretty much been only using this one for the last little while for all my makeup looks just because it's such an easy and quick application and i just throw it in my purse when I feel like I'm going to need to touch up midday or something. So I love this. So that's why I am so excited to try out this one. So let's open this baby up first. So ooh, it's actually substantially bigger than the cushion blush, but it's nice. It's sleek. So when I open it up, it looks kind of bubbly here, but I think maybe there's a protective film that I didn't take off yet just to keep the packaging looking really nice during transport. It's supposed to offer me a natural and smooth neutral matte finish with a medium to full coverage. I usually do like a very light coverage for my foundation if I'm going to wear a foundation, unless of course I'm going to an event. So this should be really, really fun to work with. Cushion Makeup is part of the K-Beauty, which is started off in the Korean beauty trend. It's, you know, pretty apparent here in North America now. I'm seeing it more and more absolutely everywhere. And mind you, a disclaimer, and I should do a disclaimer at every single one of these videos, I'm not a makeup artist. No, 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 Jesse, not a makeup artist. Jesse is just someone who loves to play with makeup. So you're basically getting a first impression video from a consumer that just loves to play with makeup that has not been trained professionally. Yes, that actually makes sense. I think. If it doesn't make sense, let me know. Let's go move on with this. So this, it comes in 18 different shades and it's supposed to have a fairly long lasting coverage. Um, the shades are available in three different tones in warm, neutral, and cool. Let's open this baby up. Oh, it's beautiful. I love how chic this is. Look at that. Okay, so the other one, the cushion balls has pretty much the same thing. You stick your little finger in here. It's black on this side and then the other side is white. So you know where the makeup lies. It also has a non-leak cover here so that you can open up the package. Ta-da! To show you a... <laughs> protective cover. So I'm going to peel this back and test check out this shade. I actually have to go out today so hopefully this is the right shade for me. It looks really dark. It might work because I mean the blush it looked very bright but it was a really really great uh, color for me. It goes on quite sheer. So I'm going to show you all of my imperfections now and I say imperfections because honestly I don't mind my freckles. I kind of like my freckles. Here are my gorgeous imperfections. So I have some acne here. That was something I would like to hide for sure. But I do have, ugh, I have some dark circles and you guys know why. I have my freckles. My sunspot has pretty much disappeared to be thanks to my skincare routine that I've been doing for the last while. If you want to know the products that I'm using to banish my sunspot on my cheek here, make sure you comment down below. Um, let's see, I just have some redness. I always have some redness here. Blew my nose a little bit too much from my allergies and my lovely cold sweat I constantly seem to get. I am literally tissue's best client. They should sponsor me. Kidding, 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 kidding. But if you want to, if you're ever watching a Kleenex company or a tissue company and you want to sponsor me, please reach out. Moving on, totally digressing. It's supposed to brighten and even up my skin tone. It should be weightless and non cakey, which will be great. And the other thing that I liked about it, which was the same with the cushion blush, is that the applicator is antibacterial. Doesn't mean that you don't ever have to clean it. You do have to clean it, and I will do a video on how to clean it in the nearest future when I need to actually clean it. Oh, it smells exactly the same, pretty much, as the cushion blush. That kind of like warm, gingery scent to it. Like, it's just a slightly warm scent to it, which is quite nice. I'm sticking with Oriental Ginger, as I said with my blush one. I don't know if that's actually even accurate, but that's what I smell, right? Scents are very, 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 was it subjective? Yes. All you have to do to do this is, this is actually a sponge itself, so you just tap it, all right? You just tap it here, you get some on your applicator. I'm gonna start off with my cheek area here. I have no primer on, all I did was just do my regular skincare routine, but we're going to test this out right now. Here we go. 
Oh, okay. It's, I think it's a little bit dark, but that's okay. We're going to go with it for today. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, it goes on really, really, really easily. Oh, 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 I could probably thin it out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Now it's starting a little better. It is a little bit darker than I would like, so I'm probably I'm going to exchange it for a lighter tone. But after I blend it, we'll see. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to do half my face first. Chest of the pimple marks now. Yeah. Going into the hairline. Oh wow, it did cover it really easily. So you see a little bit left of it, but it doesn't look quite as angry. Okay. It literally feels, it looks like just like a second layer of skin. I like how bendable this this little cushy pad thing is because I can get right into my nose, like the side of my nose there. Because nothing worse than seeing that buildup of product right here where you have the foundation crack. So the longer you hold it, the more product it seems like it soaks up and then you gotta blend. So make sure you're kind of consistent with that. I love how soft this pad is. It is so soft. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Hello. Okay. I'm going to go into my neck a little bit too, because if not, I'm going to look like I have floating head syndrome. They might just ask me, oh, did you go away? You look like you have a bit of a tan. And I'll say yes <laughs> until they see this video. And then they'll be like, ha, you lied. And I'll be like, I jokesed. Okay. Whoa. Okay. It is so blendable. It is so blendable. And my skin feels really dewy. So let's do it dead on. So this side has a foundation, this side does not. So I, I do really like the fact that it's not like a really heavy, I put like so many layers of foundation, full face coverage, heavy coverage look. I do like how it looks a bit more natural. So you can still see that my freckles are kind of showing through, right? But it's covered up most of the redness that I have on my cheeks and on like right around here. And even on the pimples, it kind of covered that up as well. I mean, you can still see a little bit of it, but I'm sure like if I wanted to, I could use a concealer to cover up more. And normally I would have to do that anyways. It doesn't feel dry. I mean, it doesn't feel dry at all. It actually has a slight dewy feeling to it. I just love how easy it went on, how blendable it was. There's like no streaking, like absolutely no streaking, which is great. I am going to take a tissue and I'm just going to dab. Yeah, so there's very minimal product that came off of it. So I do believe that the wearability would be quite good. It kind of like goes into your skin, it looks like. So it doesn't look like it's one of those products that sits on the top of your skin. It's nice. It is nice. I mean, it's not as fast as the Magix Tint. This is the one that I use the most, my Magix Tint. I literally just... And it's really, really, really fast. But I think that, you know, I'm going to compare right now. I feel like it is a lighter formula than the Magic Stint. So even on my smile line here, it's not like it's cracking and the product's settling into the lines. I'm gonna finish the other half of my face. Yeah, so I do like it. I mean, I like how easy it is to apply. I like the very pleasant scent. Done, okay, so thoughts. I really like how easy this was to go on. It does take a little bit more time because you have to blend or you get like little marks. But I mean, that's with any foundation, right? There's no foundation that I know of anyway. So you just go and it will ooze perfectly into every surface that you want covered. The other thing I really like about it, I love how soft the applicator is. I think this is a really great product for on the go because I mean, look, it doesn't spill. Nothing spills out. Have you ever had foundation spill out in your makeup bag? I have. It sucks. 
it won't happen with this. I like the fact that the applicator sits right into it. There is a mirror, which is great, so that is perfect for on the go. This will be great for you to take to, let's say, like the gym, or if you're going to the spa, you need to redo your makeup, or even if you just need it for a quick little touch up before, like during your work day or whatever day that you're having. I really like how compact and take along a bowl this is. Is that even a word, take along a bowl? It is now. This will be in the Jesse dictionary, take along a bowl. So I do really like that. Really like the pleasant smell of it. I mean, it has really good coverage considering I like a light coverage. This is not a heavy coverage. I'm sure I could build on it. Do I want to build on it? No, but you can. I mean, you should be able to build on it. What do you guys think? After I finished it, the color's not that bad. I might try one shade lighter, but I mean, it's it, it kind of works with my own underlying skin tones, I think, because it's a sheer enough coverage, which is quite nice. Yeah, it feels really great. I mean, it just gives a little bit of a dewy feel. So it doesn't have like a shine to it, which is also nice, especially if you want to do this for a photo shoot, because photo shoots, if you have anything with SPF or anything with shine, it will often give you like a whole face, kind of like a sweaty look. And if that's the look you're going for, good for you and all the power to you. That's awesome. I'm happy for you. But normally for photo shoots, you, I would like to have a slightly more matte-ish look. Natural matte. Natural matte. Not like desert matte. But yeah, a natural matte look where I can control the areas that I want to highlight. I don't know if I'll end up using this every day, but I really do like it just because I'm so used to my Magic's tint and also the Magic's wands that we have. So I really do like it as a really great base for the rest of my makeup that I'm going to be doing, which I'm going to go ahead and do now off camera, guys. If you're interested in trying out one of the new Avon with the Face Shop Collaborations Ink Lasting Cushion Foundation Slim Fit, make sure you do click my Easter link down below in the description box. Also, if you're interested in becoming a beauty boss, starting up your own online business so that you can also make money on the side, having fun, playing with makeup just like I do, and then just talking about it, Again, click my Easter link down below and I'm here to help you out. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do click the subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have new videos up every single week about makeup tips, new launches, reviews, and also our dance adventures. If you want to know more about my family and my personal life, make sure you click over to my Yix R Us channel. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!